Hi everyone, in this video we'll continue on the tool geometry topic a little bit more in depth, how to calculate the tool geometry and how to create a new tool in the catalog. I remind you that by clicking on the question mark here on top of the screen and scrolling down to programming and then choose your machine you will find all the information on references and other things um, of the topics we will be seeing here. But to make it easy on you, I already opened it at page 25. This is what we can see here. And in this, we can see the barrel that is symbolized with its spindles. And then we can see one X axis slide with a reference key that we have on each slide. And here I can see some numbers, reference position, maximum position, minimum position. So maximum position, of this slide when it's all the way up, I have a value of 230 millimeters in diameter from the center of the spindle in front of the slide and the center of the reference key. And when my x-axis slide is at the minimum of its travel, I have a minimum position of 150 millimeters, again, from the center of his key to the center of the spindle in front. And this is uh, what we will be using to measure our uh, tool. If I look at page 32 here, I can see a little bit more in detail. I have a X axis slide symbolized with the plate of the slide, a tool holder and a front turning tool. And here my spindle with a blank part on it. I can see here I have a X dimension here that goes from the center of the key to the reference position of my tool. Same here from the face of my X axis slide to the reference point of my tool. So if I look again here, I can see that when my slide is at the minimum of its travel, I have a diameter of 150 millimeters. Now let's open, for example, the tool we have been using to program this earlier, the tool 1201. I can see that I have here a value of 151 millimeters. We have one millimeter more than the value we have here when we are at the minimum of our travel in X axis. This extra millimeter will allow us to turn a face by passing the center of just a millimeter, for example. Now that we know where these values are coming from, let's see how to create a new tool, for example. Let's say in this case, I want to replace my front turning tool by a back turning tool. So how do we do that? I close this one. I come here on my scroll down menu for the tools where I have all my tools recorded and then I select the first one here on top and this will open a new window. In this window I will introduce several choices. I start from here. Here is all the list of possible tools that I can use on the machine and then I need to go down to 1201. Okay, here we go. You can see that the 1201 has an extra zero that is related to the offset, the D offset. So I can put up to four offset on the same tool. It is very useful sometime, we will see that. Now I select this one and automatically it uh, install it on the support X12Z12, which is post two. Now I choose here on my filter levels, what type of tool it is, turning, centering, it's a turning. Then here, level two, I can choose whether it's outside or inside. It's outside. And then the tool name. Let's see what we have. Infeed tool, cutoff, turning tool, rear. Let's try this one. And if I'm not sure, I can click here and it's going to open for me a little sketch that I will show you here. And this is symbolizes a back turning tool. So this is the one I can close it and then I can say, OK. Now here it says the support 1201 already exists. Do you want to replace or change it? Yes. 
and then here I input my value 151 millimeter in X in Z it's minus 50 and then radius if there is let's say yes there is a 0.1 radius and now since it's a back turner my quadrant will be Q4 okay I am done this is my uh, new tool I've created for operation in post 2 don't forget to save your modifications by clicking on the save button here and I hope um, this content will help you use the TB Deco and the multi-swiss machine more easily and efficiently. Keep in mind as well that you have a lot of resources in the multi-swiss programming help manual that is just a click away question mark programming and then you scroll down until you see your machine here and when you click on your machine it will open for you the multi-swiss programming help manual okay that is all for now